And what up you guys, welcome back to Furrow Publications YouTube channel. On this channel we talk about zines, DIY culture. Basically if you're into print media, if you're into publishing your own work, publishing other people's work like I do, you might want to consider subscribing to the channel and peeping out what we do. So today I have two things that I really want to mention to a lot of the cartoonists that are subscribed to the channel. I know there's a whole bunch of us, right? Because I publish Feral Comics, which is a comic book zine anthology with cartoonists from around the world. Underground, subversive, motherfucking comics. It's an amazing project. So I know that I've attracted a lot of cartoonists. And, and I'm trying to give you guys some information for two projects that I think are really great. And there's something I think you guys should check out. One of them was Scarf Comics. If you guys saw the last two episodes, the first one was about Jake Slingland's work, and then the next one's about Scarf Comics. I reached out to Scarf Comics and they got back to me uh, with, with, with quickness, right? And basically the way it works is uh, it's by invite for the big pages, right? And uh, at that, they asked most people that contribute to the larger pages about 50 bucks per page which makes sense because when I seen that it's free, it's a free publication in a lot of places, I was just, in my mind, I was like, how do they do this? So yeah, so if you want to get the larger pages, uh, it's invite only, and then once you are invited, they expect you to help out with $50 per large page. Uh, they have a pretty wide distribution, and I think they said you get 100 free copies. Um, so I, I think that's amazing, right? Um, at that, if you gave anybody 50 bucks and they gave you a hundred of a printed newspaper with your comics in it, I think that in itself is a good fucking deal. Um, nonetheless, there is another aspect for cartoonists to kind of get their feet wet, right? Because one of those things like, well, then how are you invited to work with Scarf Comics, right? There has to be a way for you to build that bridge. And they, of course, have that. Uh, if you guys remember the review yesterday, I talked about how there's the funny sections, which have these uh, more traditional kind of comic strips. Um, and they use that as a way of kind of getting to know other cartoonists and kind of building that bridge. And so that is something that you can submit to. And they have two people that you submit to, and those two folks are going to be... It says, if you're interested in just doing a strip, also based on the theme, it's actually free and a great way to get involved with us. Uh, reach out to at Brian Space Comics and at the Toon Goon Edit. Uh, the funny section is scarf, so hit them up about doing a strip. So that's kind of how you can get your feet wet and how you can start building that bridge. I'll have their information in the show notes, of course, for you guys to go ahead and make a comic strip. Reach out to them, man. Scarf Comics is a fucking amazing fucking project and i am just happy to be able to relay that information to you guys and hopefully you guys can collaborate with them um definitely would love to see you guys work in scarf comics i have uh the patreon for scarf comics 115 a month i want to plug that in again if you guys are able one dollar and 15 cents to support some good underground comics not a bad expenditure of a dollar and 15 you probably fucking tip somebody that much in a fucking in one transaction why not if you do that monthly to these comic project you know they're able to keep doing what the fuck they're doing and what they're doing is good work secondly what i want to talk about is broken pencil magazine i recently was on instagram just i was drawing and just looking for something to watch while i, while I doodled and worked on some shit and broken pencil was they had a live kind of feed and i jumped on that and um and on it, they were talking about something that they called the death match, the artist death match. Uh, let me show you guys real quick what they were talking about. So on the Broken Pencil uh, website, they have a Q&A with Judge Jen Woodall. And it talks about uh, the death match and more. So who is the judge? The judge is the acclaimed illustrator Jen Woodall, the creator of Girls, Ghouls, Magical Beatdown and more has joined the Indie Illustrator's Deathmatch team as a guest judge. Jen will be combing through all entries to select the top 20 to kick off the contest. The winner of the Deathmatch can also look forward to meeting Jen and getting feedback from her about their illustrations and career. And it says right there that the deadline is uh, December 31st, so that's pushing it close, you guys. So if you're going to jump on that, get on it right away. It's a competition. It's a contest. Um, and basically what it is is that there's a script that you're supposed to download um, or print, whatever, and you go about making it your way, right? So there will be very little artistic input from the writer. Rather, they wrote this script, they're handing it to a bunch of different artists, and I, I think just in itself, I think it's a very interesting uh, take on art, right? Because 
a lot of times people just assume that like V for Vendetta and there's actually two really good books about this right there's a book I remember they they published um, some of the homies that I know it was uh, what was it called oh Shitty Watchmen you probably heard of Shitty Watchmen uh, Dave Baker and uh, uh, the homegirl from Frankie Comics and a few other people they put that together called Shitty Watchmen and it gave to understand that even though the story is great right even though it's an amazing story written by Alan Moore we understand that you cannot you cannot undermine the art in it because the art actually adds to the story, right? It's sequential art. And I, I think a lot of times we forget that. We either think about art and put that on the pedestal. Or we think about the writing and put that on a pedestal. But the reality of it is that sequential art is the merging of the two. And so it's a, it's a very, very unique format and medium. And I think sometimes that gets lost in translations. But anytime people do this to kind of show and emphasize... Oh, and the other book was The Shitty Dark Knight that Jim Mama Food and a few other people worked on together. But anytime people do that, I love I love it. I love to see it. I really hope that Broken Pencil Magazine will show the different variations, but I'm not too sure on how they're going to do that. But what I do know is that it's a monetary contest, meaning that there is a cash prize if you win. And not only that, but it's not a bad magazine to be featured in, right? Broken Pencil Magazine is one of the biggest, largest magazines in zine DIY culture. So it's an amazing magazine at that. It's one of those magazines where I kind of feel bad that I don't have a subscription. And actually, in that uh, live stream, they talked about how I'm actually mentioned and quoted in the next issue, which is dropping in January, which I will be sure to get so that we can go through it and peep it out. They may have quoted something that I said and just ridiculed me. I don't know. So I got I to gotta get a copy and see what the fuck was said about me. I got to know. But yeah, if you guys are unfamiliar with Broken Pencil Magazine, here's some information on that. Broken Pencil is the entertaining, indispensable guide to zines, the Toronto Star. Welcome to Broken Pencil. Since 1995, we have been a magazine dedicated exclusively to exploring independent creative action. Published four times a year, each issue of Broken Pencil features reviews of hundreds of zines and small press books, plus comics, excerpts from the best of the underground press, interviews, original fiction, and comments on all aspects of the indie arts. And the last part, Broken Pencil challenges conformity and demands attention. Fuck yeah. But all right, you guys, man, that's all I got for you guys. I hope you guys take advantage of that. And if you guys are also looking to get your fee with, don't forget that Feral Publication pays for contributions to the Feral Comics Project. We don't pay nothing lavish. You're not going to buy a house off of what you make from us, but hopefully we can keep uh, the coffee in your coffee pots brewing and some Sharpies in your motherfucking toolbox. Uh, if you guys are interested in that, as always, just email me at feralpublishing at gmail.com. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel because it does help with what we're doing. Like us on Instagram, follow us, or all that good shit, all that fucking nonsense that you're supposed to plug in at the end. And if you want to get a copy of Feral Comics, if you want to subscribe to Scarf Comics as well, that will be in the show notes. Uh, please go ahead and check that out and help us out however you can, you guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Late.